Okay, so uh, going on from my last video, yeah, part two happened really fast. We're talking about how I'm not going to stop eating meat after this. I mean, maybe, maybe I will at some point, but I'm saying like, I'm not telling you to stop eating meat. I'm saying we're talking about how spiritually you can get the negative energy that an animal, a piece of meat that you ate, experienced in its last moments before death. I watched a documentary a couple of years ago in regards to the like how animals are treated when they're being processed for their meat, when they're being murdered. And they're treated so poorly and people, I know, like, even I, at some point, was like, okay, y'all, you know, animals, they have to die for us to eat. Like, don't even trip while y'all acting like that. And, like, I was like that at one point. But until I realized, it, I wasn't, I was like that even within learning about spirituality because I didn't realize that emotions can be carried. Energy is never depleted energy is never dead it's just always transferring and i realize you you we take on their soul when we eat them that's a living organism that's a living thing that had a mind that had feelings and emotions when you eat that pork or you eat that you know cow you take on their feelings and I remember, I remember when I learned that, like, it made so much sense as to why I've been sad for so many years. Because I know for a fact, like, growing up in the South, I grew up in the South and in the uh, East Coast. Growing up in the South mostly, them animals out there, I know because people in the South are just, sometimes a lot of them are just dark, dark spirited. Not, not every single person that was born in the South, I was born in the South. So not every person that was born in the South is dark spirited, but the South has a lot of dark and that's because slavery was the worst in the South. That's just the truth. It's because of that. So the South has a lot of dark energy and, and evil energy. So I don't really expect a lot of people like in the South. That's why cops out there are so racist. You don't expect a lot of people in the South to be kind. You, you don't. I mean... They say Southern hospitality, yes, but, like, I'm talking about, like, for real, for real, I grew up there. I grew up in most of the cities in the South, Atlanta, most of them. So, Texas, mostly. So, I know what I'm talking about. They treat them animals so poorly. Like, I've tasted food from a farm where these people, like, you know, bathe the animals and stuff and i tasted food of course consistently from farms where they be whipping them and stuff i don't even understand why they be whipping them just i mean i was gonna say just eat them but like why are you whipping like that's 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 why i say the south is crazy because i've seen it i've seen them like they'll whip them animals and it's like dude is just existent why are you hitting them and we'll carry that that energy transfers over from what we eat and we'll carry it on to our everyday lives and we'll wonder why we're so hysterical why we're stuck in hysteria why we feel so discombobulated why we feel mentally and emotionally challenged why we're scared literally fear a lot of the fear that we hold like just because it's like i remember when i was younger i was just afraid it's because of the meats that we eat it's because of the foods that we eat but you can't gain fear i mean I don't know. I'll learn more about it, but I don't believe that you can gain fear from a, a head of lettuce. And I'm saying this as somebody that just tore up a box of chicken last night. Like I said, I'm not in here vegan. I'm saying this as somebody with common sense, though. <laughs> these animals, we don't be knowing what they be going through. These animals, another thing, these animals be having diseases. And y'all, we be eating the diseases and then we'd be wondering why our shockers are not aligning baby that's because you got little bill in your stomach and he he, he want to be regurgitated so he could go to his ancestors like i'm so serious it's scary like that because it is like that it, that's the truth it's like that for real <sighs> four 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 so yeah like when i learned about what them animals were, animals were going through i was actually going through my spiritual awakening i was like 12 to 15 and 
spiritual growth in general, spiritual awakening. And I tell you, I actually stopped eating meat for a good year. And when I tell you, I was in my room building, like building stuff, reading books, writing books. Like, you know how they say when you become a teenager, like the creative child that you were is dead. Like when I stopped eating meat and learned about spirituality and like I wasn't eating hefty all the time, I was, I, that creative child was living her dream life, like living their dream life. I was painting I was designing clothes. I had made a little shop. I had, I was just free. I was reading books all the time. You know, I was, you know, I was actually studying uh, geometry. Well, sacred geometry. That's why I love math so much. And, you know, I was doing schoolwork. I was happy, you know. I'd come home and read a book. But that was because I wasn't eating certain things 555. Five, five. I wasn't eating certain things. So I'll say this, yeah, if you've been like feeling certain, if you've been feeling very negative or poorly about you know, like your energy and you've been eating a certain thing consistently and it like aligns with the timing of you feeling negative, and it, I say do a detox, you know, like I said, fasting for like one or two days, doing a water fast or doing a detox with supplements or only like eating vegetables. I'm not saying to completely go green. I'm saying a detox is very important when you're learning spirituality, especially with the animals, because these animals be getting, they be getting treated like, and it's true. It's true. And my ancestors, I still got to heal their trauma, you know? So how you think the animals feel? And we eating them. All right.